Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tantra Collector here with another action figure review. So here I have Magneto and Professor X. I found them at the Target that was near after my college class that is like a half hour away from my house. Um, so I did pre-order them, but I found them, so I just canceled my order from Hasbro for this, and I found them at Target. It's I said so uh, I'm actually excited for this especially since we never gotten any like movie version of these or what we have but, but from like toy biz I'm excited to see the like new articulation style and stuff with these so here's the front for you so you get the nice gold little details going on here and then you get the black X logo there with the gold outlining and you get Magneto and Professor X with the white highlight there. Um, and then you get the Marvel Legends logo on top. Here's the top with the um, gold outlined X logo with the uh, Marvel Legends logo uh, right in the middle. And then here's the side with Magneto silhouette there. Here's the back with Magneto and Professor X silhouette with the circles for uh, mind mind reading or mind control uh, and then here's uh professor x on the other side and then here's the bottom with the dcpi uh, but besides that let's crack these guys open all right so here they are out of the packaging here so as you can see there's a whole bunch of accessories here but first let's just start off with professor x since he has the biggest accessory so yeah so first off, uh, we have the wheelchair. So I think to put this together, it has these holes right here and has this little pole here, I think is for the wheels. And they're a little bit skinnier on the ends here. So I think what you wanna do is kinda like get it in between. So you wanna go like, I think like, the, oh yeah, you do wanna go like that. So like this, and then like, try to do that without snapping it or something and then fit that in just like that so like yeah pretty good um and then these guys these go like that i think it's supposed to just pop in but i'm not sure yeah it barely goes on there so i'm a little yeah it comes off pretty easily so i don't know oh wait it popped in so we're good we're good now and they spin so that's good um and then this other side here make sure it pops in or oops i think it just undid something there we go so there we go uh the wheelchair looks really good uh it has a nice little leather look to it there um the these wheels are actual rubber so that's really nice and they actually spin and if you spin this one, the other one spins with it too. So that's cool. Uh, but these wheels don't move at all. But they got this nice, I guess you get a little bit of marbling here. So they didn't play, they didn't paint the gray parts at all. But I'm okay with that because it's a wheelchair. It's not like anyone's really gonna notice. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, and then another accessories, more accessories that we have here. So we have two pairs of open hands like that like trying to reach out for something i guess uh, and then he has one relaxed hand here and as you if you couldn't tell already we have right we have odd number of hands so for him that he has on right now he has another relaxed hand and then one for him holding his brain like Ooh, i can you read, read your mind <laughs> um but yeah uh, sorry for my swearing. Uh, that's going to bleep out. Um, but yeah, and then you get a Patrick Stewart head. This one looks a whole lot like Patrick Stewart. They did a really good job on this, actually. I like it a lot. Um, 
but yeah looks a lot like them and then you got the mcavoy head uh it looks somewhat like them i guess i didn't really watch the uh the x-men that one x-men movie with him being bald what was it x-men apocalypse i didn't watch any other x-men movies after that besides maybe i don't know if deadpool 2 was out after that but the only x-men movie that i really watched that was near that time was either i think logan or yeah it was logan after that so it was logan and deadpool 2 that i watched after that but x-men apocalypse i haven't watched yet i haven't watched dark phoenix yet I haven't even watched New Mutants yet, so I'm a little behind my X-Men right now. But right here, Professor X has this blue suit. I think it's supposed to be like kind of like near the end of... I think it was at the end of Days of Future Past where uh, Patrick Stewart was kind of like wearing this. But you get the nice uh, suit going on here, the blue. So we've seen these mold, this mold before for the pants and stuff like that it was with i believe uh nick fury the younger one from uh captain marvel and who was the other one yeah i don't remember the other one I'm trying to remember oh um uh claw that's it um uh, indie circus uh character i forgot his name but you see Lee's claw. That's it. Um, so you had like the same bottom. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, and this is soft plastic here. But you can't really take it off. So that's a bummer. So let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down that far. Up that far. Uh, you get him looking left and right. Uh, he has not a whole lot of... Like zero head pivoting really. So... I mean, eh. uh, his shoulders can move up just a little bit that far, not even, it, probably like 45 degrees. Uh, you can move 360 rotation around the shoulder. He does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go way past, yes, yeah, already past 90 degrees. It's like way past it there. Um, so that's good. Uh, his wrist can hinge down just a little bit that far up that far uh, and then you get 360 rotation um i don't know if he has an ab crunch yeah you get a little bit but this kind of restrains it a lot especially going all the way around it tightly backwards just a little bit now hold on and then he does have a waist swivel so you get him to go 360 around there break his back again uh he could kick out that far now a lot he could kick forward a lot uh, and then backwards just a little bit now a whole lot he does have a thigh cut he has double jointed knees uh, and then his ankles can hinge down that far and uh, now a whole lot and a nice ankle pivot and then to get him on the chair i'm gonna have him doing this though and then maybe i'll switch out the hand uh, if i can come on get out of there there we go good job good job and then pop that bad boy back in there, just like that. And be like, eee. Uh, like that, there we go. And then have him like, having them sit down in the pose, I guess. And then, I guess, I guess you just fit him in there like that. And then, yeah. And then you have Professor X like that. So that's cool. Uh, now next, Magneto. So for Magneto, he has really good uh, mount accessories. Pretty reasonable amount. I guess it would be equal to Professor X. He needs the wheelchair uh, to be that character. Whereas him, he doesn't need it. So he actually has more accessories than him. So um, he has three head sculpts, or actually four if you're including that one. So here you have the uh, older Magneto. I forgot the... Um, the actor's name. Ooh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but the older Magneto. So there's this classic helmet that he used to wear in like X Men, X Two, and X Men Last Stand. So I like this helmet a lot. I like a lot. I may have him. I may have Magneto with this head sculpt, most likely. 
Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe the younger one, especially since I'm going to have McAvoy wearing McAvoy with uh, Patrick yeah. Stewart. So, yeah, they did a good job. It looks a lot like the actor, though. If it focus, there we go. Gray hair, high, gray eyebrows there. So, I like that a lot. And then you get the unhelmet version of that one. Looks a whole lot like him. Um, I guess they could have added a little bit of shading here, but it's not a whole. It's not a big deal. But good job. You get the nice little wrinkles and very serious face of Magneto. So that's good. And this one, I mean, it looks a bit like him. The only, I, I, actually, no, I take that back. It is. It, it does look like him. It takes me a little bit to figure out if it looks like him or not, but it does. It's him. Um, I forgot this actor's name too, but yeah, they did a good job with this guy. Um, then he comes with two fisted hands, which he's wearing one of them right now. So nothing real special about them besides being black. And then one like reaching out, trying to uh, control the uh, metal and stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, and then for Magneto himself, so he's wearing the younger Magneto helmeted head there. So it looks a lot like him there, and he looks like he's pissed off. Uh, I like the helmet a lot. They did a good job. Um, and then you get the cape here. Looks a lot like it. You get the little arrows around the collar there. Um, and then you also get the like little pads that you have on this chest here. Um... So yeah, I don't think it's the same exact as the older one. I don't think, yeah, it's definitely not because I remember it wasn't even padded. It was just black clothing, clothing underneath. Um, but yeah, I, I think you'll look pretty cool with the older version though. Uh, and then you get the more padding around the abs too. You get this little glove attachment there. It's not, it's not by itself, but I think it's pretty good. You get the black pants, you get the little texture right there. So that's cool. Same side, same thing on the other side, I mean. The boots are glossy paint. So nothing real special about that one. This one's more matte, um, but yeah. Uh, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down just a little bit, mainly because I think it, the cape kind of gets in the way. I think you could take off the cape if you pop off the head. Uh, and then you can look up that far. Pretty good. You get them looking left and right. And you get that. Now a whole lot of head pivoting again. Uh, his shoulders can move. If I can do it without breaking his arm. I don't think it moves that much though. Yeah, I don't want to risk that one. Maybe you try the other one. I think, yeah, there we go. So his shoulders can move out that far. I don't want to risk breaking this one because it's still pretty um, stiff there. So he has bicep swivel too. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder there. He has double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, he does have a diaphragm joint at the top here. So you get him to go forward a bit, not a whole lot. Uh, backwards a little bit, but he he usually stands straight up, so it's not a big deal for me. And then you get side to side motion, not a whole lot, but same deal. He straights up, straight up, and you also get 360 rotation around that. That's one that I usually don't do or forget to do. Uh, he can kick out quite a bit for Magneto. He can kick forward pretty good. Backwards, not a whole lot like usual figures. Uh, he yeah, does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees there. Uh, he does have a boot cut. And then his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So I think these figures are really cool. Um, I guess the only problem that I really have, well, I don't think I really have any problems actually, to be honest. Um, they added uh, a reasonable amount of uh, accessories, they actually, I think they had a lot more than I actually expected them to. I thought for Magneto, it would just be like these two heads, really, or something like that. Uh, for uh, Professor X, that's what I expected. The hands are really good. They did a good job on the amount of hands. The wheelchair, good. Um, 
I would say is just a little flimsy, but not too bad. And I wish they had a little bit like a port system to make him hold him in securely, but I think he's doing good staying in there. Um, but besides that, I think they nailed this one. And I, I think they nailed this, um, this little two pack here with the X-Men, uh, with Magneto and Professor X. So good job, Asbro. Um, really cool, uh, really cool two figures. Uh, I recommend getting them if you're into collecting these guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, no problems with them really, actually. So uh, that's all I got. And for today's winner for guest to figure uh, for Magneto here um, goes to AMC Zero a Swish. Make sure you check him out on Instagram. And the winner for the other guest to figure for guessing uh, Professor X goes to Carnage the Kid. Make sure you check out his Instagram and YouTube. And as for usual, uh, all the links for their profiles and YouTube will be uh, in the link in the description. And here is the next uh, guest to figure for tomorrow's video. And to make sure you are able to do that, make sure you go to my Instagram because that's where I do all that stuff. And then follow these three simple steps um, and then wait for the next video to come out tomorrow. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment. Uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.